Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel. In this video we will see instruction set. Instruction set is very important, one of the most important topic in computer architecture. So next we will start with the instructions means what are the various operations we can perform, right? So an extensive set of instructions are provided to carry out various computational tasks by a particular architecture, right? means whatever possible means whatever bigger calculations are there scientific calculations are there they will be ultimately performed using using some uh, simpler operations so whatever simpler operations are required to solve any complex problem so those all those possible whatever is required are provided in an instruction set so basically to perform any operation any bigger task we may perform some instructions in some sequence, maybe repeatedly or one after another, and we can get done a bigger job completed, right? So according to the operation carried out by the computer, means are performed by the instructions, the instructions are classified into three categories. First, in my previous videos, we have seen different category of instruction based on their length. That is zero address, one address, two address, three address, we have seen. And then now we will see based on the operations they are performing, what is the classification of instructions. So basically there are three categories of instructions are supported by any architecture. The first one is, see whenever you do some operation in your computer system, basically you know that you are following von Neumann concept. That means what your instructions are there in memory, but who will process it? Processor will process it. Some registers are there, some circuitries are there. Those will help me to execute the instruction. So the point is, this instruction, it is loaded in memory, right? And from where it is coming? From the I.O. devices, right? So from this memory, the data has to, the instruction has to be taken to the processor. Processor will process it. The results will be some memory location changes, some register value writing. So those things are happening, right? That means what whenever we are doing any operation, the very first thing we need to do is data movement. That means from one location to another location, we need to carry the data. So the first category of instruction will be your data transfer instruction. Data transfer instructions. Then after transferring the data, we need to operate on it. So what you are going to operate, that is that gives us the next category, that is data manipulation instruction. So what kind of manipulations we'll be doing in assembly language? Maybe arithmetic operations, maybe some logical operations, maybe some shift and rotate operations, that bitwise operations are there. Those also we can perform. So these are various categories of operations we can perform that for manipulating our inputs, manipulating our operands. So the second category is data manipulation instruction, right? And see, whenever we are doing this data manipulation instruction, we may divide some operation as subclass, as a function. So from somewhere, you need to go to some function. Then again, you need to return back. So for that, you require some processor control or process control instruction, like your function calling, returning from function, or say your branching, that conditional branching. You will check some condition, then you will, uh, condition is true then you will be doing some operation from a particular location. Once again, you will be doing something in a loop. So those are nothing but your data. Sorry, process. Uh, so see, uh, that will be your program control instruction. Program control instructions means basically your that branching and all, function call, function return, those type of things. So data manipulation instruction, again, subdivided into three categories, arithmetic instruction, logical instruction, and your shift instruction. We'll see each of them at greater details slowly, right? So that category is understood. The first type is data transfer instruction. So here are the various names of your data transfer instructions typically available for an architecture. One is load, store, move. These three already we have seen, yes? Load we have seen in our single accumulator based organization store to store something into memory load means basically what getting something from the memory to the processor side store means sending something from the 
uh, processes side to the memory move is basically for uh, data transfer between two registers or register to memory memory to register right then uh, push and pop also we have seen where we have seen while we were doing your this one stack organization that zero address instruction that time we have seen push and pop instructions so these instructions mostly we have seen before but one more most important point i would like to mention here is that though the name is data transfer instructions but whenever i am transferring see the in generally in english we mean transfer means what from one location to another location we are transferring right the person will not be there anymore at this place the, the person is transferred to a new location but in our case here data transfer instruction means the data will be moved from the source to the destination but the copy at source will remain as it is source copy remains intact we are not going to destroy it right so suppose at memory location some memory location 1000 one data is there say it is 10 i am bringing it to processor register r1 so register r1 will also hold value 10 but this does not mean the value from this location will be destroyed so this is the meaning that source sorry source copy remains intact so already we have seen before load instruction that is for loading value from memory uh, and store means storing into memory move we know and push pop also we know push operation is used for sending some value of a memory location to the top of the stack right So to the suppose in the stack already some 10, 20 are some memory location A, B is values are there. Now I need to transfer C. So I'll be using push C. Pop operation is for what? Getting the top element into some memory location. Suppose I am writing pop C. This means what? Whatever value is there at the top of the stack, so I am writing pop M. That means value of this variable C is stored in memory location M, right? So this is push and pop. Next one is next this uh, three are new to you exchange input output exchange is basically used for ex english meaning of exchange is what swapping right you are exchanging the two values so exchange is basically used to trans uh, to exchange the values of two registers or two memory locations they are designated uh, means pointed by some particular registers only so this instruction exchange mostly used by 8085 right here uh, two designated registers are pointing to two memory locations their values will be swapped then next is input output instruction these two instructions are very important to talk to your input output devices see input in uh, this in instruction is used to take input from the input device right so see in your system processor is there one side your memory is there and this is say your io device this is output device this is input device right so whenever i want to get some input then it will come through the input device right so whenever i am getting something from the input device it will first come to the processor right because processor is the master of the bus processor is the master of the whole system so the input from input device the input will come to the processor then from processor register the value may be transferred to the memory right so in case of this in instruction this will take input from a input device and will give it to a processor register it is used by 8085 8086 processors architectures what it does the syntax is in in is written and then port number and register right so see port number means what the Uh, identification number of the device from where i am getting the input so from this particular device number i am taking one input and that i am giving to this register rez so example i have written in 08h comma r1 so see please understand here this hash sign is not indicating your immediate operand rather it is indicating um, the number that is the identification number of the device right looking at this in instruction 08 will not be taken as an immediate data rather it is representing a device number from that particular device input is taken and given to register r1 right this is in 
this instruction takes an input into the processor register R1 from the device whose identification number is 088. What is H? H stands for hexadecimal number, right? Then next one is out. Out is the opposite of in. So what it will do? It will transfer the content of processor register to an output device. So to which device you want to send, you need to identify that. For that, that device identification number will be part of your instruction. What is the instruction? Out. So the syntax is out register means from this register, I am sending some data to a particular device whose identification number is port number. Again, please understand this hash sign is not representing immediate data. This has 09H represents 09 hexadecimal number is the identification number of an output device to which I am sending the content of register R1. So hope this is understood. This instruction what it does sends an output from the processor register R1 to an output device whose identification number is 09H. So see basically here we have seen how to transfer data from processor to memory, memory to processor, between registers, then from the stack or to the stack or from the input device or to the output device. So these are our uh, data transfer instructions, right? Data transfer instruction. So the first category is over. In next video, we will see data manipulation instruction. The first category that is arithmetic instructions that we are going to see next. Thank you.